morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the first line of the Gospel, we heard that Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. And we may wonder why, right? Because when we pray the Our Father, we say, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We don't say, deliver us into evil. Temptation in this gospel is more of a test of Jesus' strength during these very hard 40 days. Will he be strong enough not to think of himself, but to think of the big picture and his mission as the son of God? His answers to the devil shows us that he is in fact ready for this very mission in his life. Let's take a moment and apply this very important passage of the Holy Scriptures in our daily lives. We live in a very dysfunctional world. Let's say this world is our desert and we are there constantly being tested by our own needs, motivations, and desires. It's no coincidence that the devil in his first temptation asked Jesus to turn stone into bread. This is not about Jesus performing a miracle. Rather, to test if he was going to just think of himself and not to think of the big picture. Jesus is not dismissing the fact that our bodies need nourishment. And this is evident in his response when Jesus says, One does not live on bread alone. He is setting the right priority. Let's replace the word bread with, honor, with other material things, such as money, cards, education, status, and many other things. These things are fine in themselves, just like food. We need them, we work for them, we use them to provide for our families. But let's make sure our attitude towards them does not overshadow the fact that we also live on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. That we are called to trust God, to provide for our needs in His time and in His way. In the second temptation, the devil says to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. And Jesus replies, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Would you think about this part of the test? When we call upon God for some immediate benefits, how many times we say to God in our prayers when we are facing a challenge, Lord, if I get what I am asking for, I will go to Mass every Sunday for Lent. Maybe it's a good grade or a test that we, not, we did not study for or to speak perfect English during a homily when we don't practice enough. <laughs> we use these promises to strengthen our request to God, but we unintentionally fall victim to the devil's temptations. The key here is not to act foolishly and expect a God to resolve our issues but rather to always seek His will and to be led by the Holy Spirit. In the third temptation, the devil shows Jesus all kingdoms of the world. All Jesus had to do is worship Him. Jesus revealed His options. He could have had it all and could have taken the easy path. But instead, Jesus responds with, Get away, Satan. 
It is written, The Lord your God shall you worship in him alone shall you serve. He turns down all the riches to follow God's plan rather than to surrender to his early desires. My dear friends, we are faced with temptation in our daily lives. The devil does not show up wearing a red suit with horns and a pitchfork. The devil appears as a sensible way to meet our needs. We are constantly persuaded to do what is easiest, fastest, that we result in the most gain. But we end up hungry for the wrong things. When we follow this path, we push away ourselves from God. When we misplace our commandment, our minds, our affections, and our will, the result will be spiritual disaster. During this time of Lent, we are asked to think about these temptations we encounter. We have the opportunity to prayfully, prayfully consider what we are being offered and to ask God for direction. We will choose instant gratification or we will patient and trust that God will strengthen us for the journey ahead and lead us on the right path. I pray that this land, the Holy Spirit, will lead us to that place where we will be tested. And when we are there, that God will give us the strength to choose wisely, so that we too shall pass the test. Amen. And support, and that she receive the assurance of Press our approval by applauding our candidates, Brigitte, Melody, Lisa, and Lewis.